The British Ministry of Defense had a need for a new lineup of tracked armored vehicles to replace the existing CVRT family. Development kicked off around 2010, spearheaded by General Dynamics and centered on the ASCAD 2 infantry fighting vehicle platform. The primary vehicle in this fresh British armored vehicle family is the Ajax Reconnaissance Vehicle, set to replace the FV-107 Scimitar. Meanwhile, the Ares serves as an APC variant derived from the ASCAD-2 IFV, slated to supplant the FV-103 Spartan within the British Army's ranks. In 2014, the British MOD placed an order for 59 Ares armored personnel carriers, in addition to various other vehicles within the same armored vehicle family, totaling 245 Ajax variants. The initial two Ares vehicles were delivered to the British Army in 2019 for training purposes. The first series production Ares vehicle rolled out in 2020, with the entire fleet slated for delivery by 2024, expected to serve for a minimum of 30 years. All these new armored vehicles are manufactured in the United Kingdom. The Ares functions as a specialized combat team carrier, designed not for infantry section transport but rather for combat engineering, battlefield reconnaissance, or air defense missile team transport, facilitating the deployment and support of specialized troops across the battlefield. It will operate alongside other armored vehicles from the Ajax family. With a crew comprising a commander, driver, and gunner, the Ares can accommodate up to seven fully equipped specialists, providing internal racks and boxes for their specialized and personal equipment, with additional storage available externally. Troop ingress and egress are facilitated via rear doors, while roof hatches allow for observation, firing, and emergency exits. Technologically advanced, the Ares boasts modular armor and innovative mind blast protection, purportedly offering best-in-class protection and survivability. It provides high-level defense against small arms fire, artillery shell splinters, and mine blasts, with crew and passengers seated on mine blast-resistant seats. Additionally, the vehicle is equipped with electronic countermeasure systems, a laser warning system, a local situational awareness system, and other features, positioning it as one of the most protected armored personnel carriers available today. An add-on armor kit can be installed as necessary, with provisions for future upgrades with improved armor modules. Weighing approximately 30 tons, the Ares can be enhanced with add-on armor, increasing its weight to around 40 tons, ensuring its protection level aligns with that of a well-protected infantry fighting vehicle. Armed with a remotely controlled weapon station featuring a 12.7mm machine gun, the Ares can engage ground and low-flying air targets, including helicopters and UAVs. Powered by a German MTU V8 199TE21 turbocharged diesel engine producing 805 horsepower, the engine is located at the front of the hull and paired with a German Rank 256B6 speed fully automatic transmission. Demonstrating excessive power during trials, the test vehicle towed an additional 62 tons over 300 kilometers, showcasing its growth potential for the next 30 years.